Okay, so we just went to the National Theatre to let you understand what is happening. And that is where, you know, the epic um, National Science and Mass Quiz final between Presec St. Peter's Senior High School and St. Augustine's College uh, will be bringing you that finals from the lab. But now let's throw the spotlight on two contestants who have carried the hopes of their schools on their shoulders through the excellent substitute performance that has been happening there. Kobnadom has more. Before we start the next round, St. Augustine's College would like to effect a substitution. You are welcome, Newton. Let's go, let's go. Expectedly, before the start of a fourth round of all their contests, chants of Newton rank in the auditorium. Like in a football game, St. Augustine's College has relied on their super sub, Newton Jimmy Stiving to drag them across the finish line. The integer part of a logarithm is the mantissa. Newton. False. Yes. <laughs> Answering all questions correctly in the fourth round for St. Augustine's yes. College in their quarterfinal clash meant Augusto would beat a resilient Tamale Senior High School to make the semi-final. A neutrino is a weakly interacting particle. Yes, Newton. True. Yes. So brilliant was he in the last two rounds, his schoolmates and old boys would jokingly name the fourth round the Newton round. On social media, he earned even more praise. I occur in many varieties, each of which is distinguished by a property of the unique particle conventionally labeled Z. Who am I? Newton. Atoms. Oh, yeah. But how does he do it? Thanks goes to God. He's the one that has been helping us as we go through our um, preparation for every contest. Everything comes from God. He's the, the orator of all things. He gives us the knowledge so that we're able to put out those performances. So are you always going to come on as a substitute in run four and run five? Yes, if everything goes okay. the way it is. Uh, a lot of people have been speaking to want to find out, is that your expertise, riddles, and then what? True or false questions? Oh, it's not really an expertise, but that's how we have structured things. Okay. Can you come in yes. to cause the damage? <laughs> not really. <laughs> to hit the final, you know, um, nail in the coffin. Uh, to bring everything to an end. What Newton will find in Nathaniel Yao Mensa of Presec is sub cast in his mold. Equally a strong super sub, the light-skinned, shy-looking Nathaniel is what Newton is to Presec. Before we begin the next round, Presec Legon would like to effect a substitution. You are welcome, Nathaniel. Maltose is a typical polysaccharide. Nathaniel? False. Yes. If cosine of x is equal to 4 over 5, then tangent of x is equal to 4 over 3. Nathaniel? False. Yes. It's just by God's grace. It's just by God's grace. It's not by my own power, but then it's just by God's grace. But that's where your strength lies. Uh, kind of. You know that by the grace of God, we are going to leave the trophy on Thursday. Presec will hope their super sub will deliver the goods on July 11. He would have to face Newton, a boy with firepower from the bench for Ogasco. True. Yes. We are going to win. We are going to win. And we take the cup to Cape Coast. Trust us, Ogasco, we are taking away the trophy this time around. St. Augustine's College, we are going for the trophy to Cape Coast.
Hashtag Let's Talk About Six. The boys from Pesek are already dreaming of it. I know they will bring the cup back home. Yeah. The grace of God, the boys are going to deliver. The thing is God has spoken. That was Komla Adams' report. But she has been at the center of all the contests from the 1-8 stage of the National Science and Maths Quiz competition up until the final. Sometimes stern, other times lenient. But most of all, Dr. Elsie Efa Kaufman says she is looking forward to a keenly contested final involving Presec, St. Peter's and St. Augustine's College. But after hosting the quiz for 12 years and running, the biomedical engineer has seen it all. The highs and the lows. Kamala Adum again takes a look at her moments this year. The 2019 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. She's all you need in a quiz mistress. And even without a whip, you would fall in line. A strict examiner, a motherly cushion when she has to be, and certainly a woman who knows her stuff. Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman has done 12 years moderate in the National Science and Maths quiz and is still at it. All through the competition so far, she has dazzled in her uniquely made outfits of local ethnic fusion and Afrocentric shades. But she would be the first to admit, beyond the fashion ensemble, it's been a great competition so far. I occur in many varieties, each of which is distinguished by a property of the unique particle conventionally labeled Z. Who am I? Newton. Atoms. Oh yeah. Here is an excited Dr. Eva Kaufman when you solve her problem of the day. Opokuwari school had no problem with the problem of the day. <laughs> and so I'm happy to award a perfect score together with the NSMQ staff. Hooray! Well, she can be light like that. Also, when a fancy school gets cut to size. In fancy film school. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. All the best. But hey, she can be stern too. I am doing the best I can. If you make too much noise and your contestants can't hear the question, the statements, that's your own loss. The crowd sometimes gets chant happy, and in that mood, they do this for the quiz mistress. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. Oh, yeah, it is. Madame Eva Kaufman could be a problem of a day on July 11 at the National Theatre. For all schools at the final, contestants from Presec would especially remember this during the semi finals. Contestants. You didn't take enough time to actually understand the physical problem in your hands. You jumped at the values there and started doing calculations left and right without understanding what the physical problem really was. So at the end of the day, none of you was able to provide the correct answer to our problem of the day. I am most unhappy to award zeros all around. For many of the neutrals, an all-girls school should have been here, but it was not meant to be, and Dr. Eva Kaufman is disappointed. Oh, this year we were hopeful that this would be the year where something happens. Unfortunately, our last chance was the one we had... Uh, Wesley Girls High yes. School this afternoon. Yeah, and uh, I was a bit disappointed. The young ladies gave up too early. Yes. From the body language, absolutely, they had given up absolutely. in the first round. No but there's hope because you know last year that was when i said when the young ladies brought their cheering team mm. and they were singing the songs just like wow. the young men then i knew things were improving Absolutely. because previously if you remember wesley girls would come and sit down with some beautiful clap 
<laughs> Forget when her handbag was stolen at the 2017 finale. Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman has bigger expectations for Thursday's epic involving Presec, St. Peter's, and St. Augustine's College. Disappointed with our semi finals. Mm. Because I expected the contest to be a little be closer. But it didn't happen that way. I'm hoping, I'm hoping mm. that we have a very well contested final. But ultimately, after five rounds of contest, waves of school chants and shouts. What are we to expect? It is written in the scriptures. In the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall bring to you today. For the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. Carbon atoms have the luxury of maintaining their exact tetrahedral angles. Who am I? Newton. Cyclohexene. Yes. A motley crowd of students, old students, friends, sympathizers and families of contestants sharing their boys up, there will be only one winner. Would it be five-time champions per sex snatching assists or would defending champions St. Peter's nick this one to make it a fourth trophy or just maybe St. Augustine's would rack up a second? Well, Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman and the rest of us will find out after round five on Thursday. Oh yeah, it is. My name is Elsie Fa Kaufman and I'm honored to be your quiz mistress. Thank you. Again, ahead of the grand finale of the National Science and Maths Quiz today, reigning champion St. Peter's SHSA, they are poised to retain the trophy. Hannah Odami has more in this report. Perhaps the Michael effect from St. Peter's has been the cornerstone for the boys. Michael went biblical in one of the competitions. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall bring to you today. For the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. When asked his motivation for that prayer, this is what he said. At that point in time, there was nothing really else I could see. Because mm. mm. some people might see it as offensive, some people might see it as being overconfident, but that is what I believe in, and that is what I have to see. The three boys representing St. Peter's say the input of all students and their parents have been a motivation. Our parents have been uh, rocks, they've been uh, strongholds, they've been the backbone of everything we do, our motivation, keep encouraging us. See, the old boys have been a source of motivation and they have always been coaching us and they have been giving us some promises and mm. I think that's what is keeping us moving. They've had a tough contest they say but were there any surprises? Contests have been very tough like we expected it because when we were coming like we made some analysis and we had to like like show our strength in some of the peculiar rounds so here's what they have for us tomorrow i think it will be unfair and dishonest to say there's a bigger threat sitting among them once they qualify to the finals they are all equally a big threat and tomorrow we'll find out it's only god who has the final say yeah. I, I knew i knew we'll be hearing from god very soon with michael uh, St. Augustine's College and Presbyterian Boys get ready for a stiff competition from St. Peter's Senior High School.
Okay, so let's now cross over to the National Theatre where my colleague Mamavi Osu Abuaji is standing by.